You may recall Destruction Week seven weeks ago where we were in this very bedroom that had a one by four wooden ceiling with paneling sidewalls or knee walls. And since then, we went through a destruct destruction process. We took out uh, those old products. We installed foam insulation on the roof decking and gable ends. And then we came back and installed sheetrock. And then we put on a textured process called stomping. And one simply just mixes sheetrock mud with white ceiling paint and you roll it very thick onto the ceiling and then you come back with this brush and simply just stomp the product and it leaves this very nice textured pattern. For the past three makeovers we've chosen one day near the very end to call in our reinforcements of all of our certified energy auditors representing different electric cooperatives around the state. And we converge on the makeover project on one particular day, and that day was today. And what we do is we outfit everybody with a caulking gun, and we go through the entire house, and we caulk and seal every possible place that we suspect air infiltration. That includes around all the windows, all the doors, all the plumbing penetrations, and all the electrical penetrations. And from there, we do our final blower door analysis. When we began Makeover 2010, we learned that the Quillhots house had 1.42 air changes per hour, or in layman's terms, what that means is the house was 142% leaker. That means 142% of, of all the volume of the air in this house changed with Mother Nature every hour. But through the foam that we put on the roof decking and the foam we put on the gable ends, the foam we put on the perimeter walls in the crawl space, and the foam that we put underneath the house, and then the final caulk and seal package from all our energy auditors, we were able to reduce the overall air infiltration in the Quillhots da house down to a 0.6, or approximately a 60% reduction in the overall air infiltration. If you've been following Makeover 2010 videos, you'll note that we destroyed the Quillhots house. <laughs> Actually, we had to do a lot of destruction in order to gain access to the many places that needed insulation. And that was important for the overall makeover process. Behind me is an example of the hundreds of feet of crown mold and the trim work that our makeover team had to install in order to put the Quillhots house back to its like found condition. The last two makeover houses have had roofs that were close to 30 years old. So we decided that because of the huge investment that we're making with uh, the makeover project, that we would go ahead and re-roof the makeover houses. That way we could protect that investment and make sure that all of the energy saving features that we were putting in the house would be protected by a brand new roof. That we've made a significant reduction in the air infiltration and a tremendous impact on the heat gain and heat loss that will occur to the Quill Hots house. And what does that equate to? It equates to a lower utility bill and a much more comfortable house for the Quill Hots.